live in a world where there's always problems. And yet often we find ourselves worrying about those and stressing and things come up and we're not sure if we're going to be able to deal with them. And then if you look in the Bible, you hear Jesus is teaching in the Sermon on the Mount about, he says, why worry about tomorrow? Tomorrow has enough problems of its own. He says we don't have to live in the middle of all that. But he also says that the problems aren't going away anytime soon. They will one day in eternity in heaven, but, but no, time, no time soon. So we're asking ourselves a question this week. How can we live with peace in a world full of problems? How do we not just worry about our problems constantly? Well, here's the thing. The reason why we worry so much in different situations where we're not sure what to do is often because we're not sure what our purpose is in that situation. When you're in a situation where you understand your purpose, then when you have a problem, you tend to know how to respond to it. You may or may not be able to fix it, right? Uh, For instance, if I'm playing basketball and LeBron James is playing against me, I know as a defender I'm supposed to stay between him and the goal. I have no ability to do that, and he's going to dunk the ball, and I'm going to look very silly because I'm not a professional basketball player. If you know me, if you've seen me off camera, you know God didn't give me that kind of body. Uh, God, God did for him. But if you know what your purpose is, you don't worry. You just simply try your very best to carry out your purpose, and you know that's, that's what you can do. In life, we get confused with our purpose a lot, and it forces us into anxiety and into worry. So when Jesus says, don't worry about tomorrow, uh, when he says that there will be challenges coming our way, we have to also look at Jesus' teachings about what our purpose is. And Jesus says our purpose is to love God and our neighbor, and specifically to lo- when we come to loving our neighbor, love one another as he has loved us. That if whatever situation we're in, we're trying to do that, then we should be able to live with any outcome as long as that's how we functioned within that situation because that's our purpose. We also know that we're not perfect and there are going to be times uh, where we get mixed up and we're going to have to ask for forgiveness. We're going to make mistakes and that's all part of it. Now, when mistakes happen, uh, when problems occur, this is one of the most important things in learning to live out of purpose rather than out of fear and out of worry and out of anxiety. First of all, we expect problems to happen. Jesus told us they would. Uh, and and next, when those problems happen, we don't look at them as disasters. We don't look them as, as, as tragedies about which we, we could never recover from. Those are opportunities to grow and they're opportunities to love others. When you make that transition from a problem being a disaster to be avoided to an opportunity to grow and an opportunity to love others, it's amazing how much fear and how much worry leaves your life and how much joy and how much peace comes into your life. If you'd like to know more about what this would look like for your life, I'd invite you to check out our messages this week. We have uh, Pastor Larry and myself, I'm Pastor Will, we, we both uh, shared a full-length message about this. You're going to be able to find that on our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll put the links up here for you so that you can dig in to how can I live with joy in a world full of problems. God bless you, and may God's peace be with you.